For a third day, hundreds of rescue workers continue their search. But still no sign of the 12 players from the Mupa Academy football team and their 25-year-old coach. It's not the first time they had an outing at the Tam Luang Cave in northern Chiang Rai province. They're not just teammates, but good friends, too. Kiang Kamlu has been under this tent since Saturday. Her 16-year-old son, Porn Chai, is missing. He is one of the oldest. The youngest is 11. At least it's not just my son. I feel better that he is not alone. So now I need to be strong so I can see his face again when he walks out of the cave. Xin Wang adopted Adun San An when he arrived from Myanmar at the age of two. He's now 14 and missing. Shin is hopeful the boys will survive and says they work well together. They are very strong. I want to say they are very strong, yes. This is the mouth of the cave complex that runs some eight kilometers deep into these hills right along the border with Myanmar. The bikes from these 12 boys and their coach are still here just as they are left on Saturday. A small makeshift village has been created for the rescue workers. There are divers, cave climbers, soldiers, and forestry service workers. Rain is our biggest challenge in the rescue operation. We are trying to pump out the water so the diving team can operate. We need to string more electricity in the cave to run the pumps. We are pumping three kilometers in and we need more power. And more help keeps coming in. The race is on to find the boys. With rescuers aware, time is not on their side. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Chiang Rai.